it's the biggest game of the week. It's got two big time personalities as head coach. You got one coach who saved the career, and it's not an understatement or an overstatement or whatever you want to call it. He saved this man's career. And then people realize that he's a really brilliant offensive mind. And that's how Steve Sarkeesian ended up at University of Texas. But now, after last year nearly beating Alabama, they got to go on the road. Bama favored by seven. Feels like a gift. Feels like a gift. So I'm going to start <clears throat> with A.B. Because you have the most positive of the picks in this game. And if this comes in, it's going to be a hell of a game to watch. What do you like? Yes, sir, it is. We're going to take the over, 54 and a half in this game. Look, remember, this game was about to be on fire last year, and then Quinn Ewers was injured, and it completely changed the aspect. So don't even look back. These are two completely different teams. Now, Quinn Ewers is back. Texas is back. This team is legit. They can score. They can pass. They can run. And Quinn Ewers, look, he runs some old-school veer option stuff, too. He'll get the ball out, and Texas can get it down the field. Alabama dealing with some injuries here in the secondary. Now, their defense is super legit. Kevin Steele's doing a great job already with that defense against MTSU. They tackled better, less penalties. That was their big problem last year. That being said, though, all right, they've got some injuries in the secondary. Texas will take advantage. Alabama on the other side, all right? I don't know if you guys have seen this quarterback. He's the fastest player on their team, and I'm not kidding. He's like Kyler Murray in terms of when he goes, it starts in fifth gear. It's going to be a problem for Texas when he takes off. I don't know how well he throws. I'm not saying it's bad, but this dude can take off. Long story short, this is going to be a back-and-forth affair. At 54 and a half, I'll end it with this. You're essentially betting, will both teams score four touchdowns in this game? I think they do. Well, I hate to do this, A.B. I hate to do this. But as I'm trying to host the show and be a professional and listen to your take, somebody else – was not listening to your take because they were busy typing things into the chat with people who were make fun of said person who it said his parents met in Miami. So it's all confusing, but I know that he wasn't paying attention and he would never be disrespectful when it comes to your pick either. Uh, EC, what are you, what are you on on this game? AB's on the over. What are, what are you on? Uh, oh, I heard everything AB said, coach. I'm rolling with the under here. Oh, Listen, we have, we, we had now. This is a this is a lean because I don't really have a good feel on this game. Oh, it's a lean. Here we go. Uh, I'm, I'm, a lean. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a lean. Yeah. But let me say this: we had three top twelve NFL draft picks in this game last year, and only thirty nine total points. This one, we're going to see defense. Now, I don't know. Alabama could blow them out. Texas could keep it close. I'm so I can't find any way. Every way I've tried to concoct this game, I cannot find a way that either t that both teams score four touchdowns. Just can't do it. So I'm rolling with the under. 54 and a half, I believe it is. And, and I feel confident in that. I would be surprised if it got over 50. Lean, remember, lean. Sorry, Andy. Oh, we know, because that's how you try to hedge your bets. So if it doesn't come in, then you go, oh, it was just a lean for me. But if it does, see, I told you. I told you right there. That's what a lean means for you. Now, sometimes you got to keep it simple. And sometimes you got to go to the best team, playing at home, straight forward. And if you give me Alabama chip, and I only got to give a touchdown, I don't care who it's to. I'm playing the Crimson Tide. Do you agree with me? Yes. Who has the coaching matchup when one of these guys has seven rings and the <laughs> other one's never won 10 games? <laughs> seven national championships, including six and 12 years, zero 10 win seasons. Now, Steve Sarkeesian, Nick Saban, they went back and forth, right? When he was the OC, you know, that's one thing that all Saban assistants talk about is how competitive the practices are, not just for the players, but for the coaches. So they do know a lot of each other's wrinkles, and I think that Texas will hit enough big plays to be able to at least feel good and put together a small little highlight reel, but it's going to be like a 23, 24-second highlight reel because Alabama has one of the best defenses in the whole daggum country, and they are really going to put Texas in some difficult situations. I think that this is a lot of running the football. Also with Jalen Milrow as a runner, I think this is leaning on the defense. I think this is a squeeze the life out of the evening kind of night in Bryant-Denny Stadium. Uh, the ones that all those checkerboard fedoras, they like those kind of wins. This is a Nick Saban special right here. Everybody comes in excited for fireworks and might leave a little bit disappointed.
Yeah, Ray said Bama rarely covered last year, which is why you don't think Nick Saban doesn't know that? You don't think Nick Saban doesn't know they weren't dominant all of last year? Of course he knows that. But and wait, he's Coach, he's not, he's not Iowa players. Now, Iowa players know the lines. Alabama, Nick Saban doesn't care about the line. You no, Nick Saban's even more harsh than a sports book. Whatever yeah. you're yeah, like his, like they may be 39 against middle Tennessee. No, his brain says 47. Okay. <laughs> He's going for kill shots out here. And you want to talk about difference from last year to this year? Why do you think Nick Saban got a new offensive coordinator? Why do you think Nick Saban got a new defensive coordinator? Ran Pete Golding off the Ole Miss, ran Bill O'Brien off the, uh, the Patriots. It's the greatest thing Saban does. He doesn't fire you. He rehires you and gets you sent off somewhere else. 